In today's episode, I'm joined by Jennifer Ford Berry, who is a professional organizer, an author, and now the leader of a brand new conference called Creating Order. So I'm chatting with Jennifer today about the direction that her organizing business has gone, how she has incorporated her faith into her message and her mission, and what's coming next. You're listening to the Pro Organizer Studio Podcast with Jen Obermeyer. Thank you for joining in. Jen makes it her mission to broaden the horizons of savvy businesswomen in the organizing industry by instilling confidence and inspiring authenticity. She is a devoted business coach and founder of the Inspired Organizer Program. Each week, you'll gain new insight into strategies designed specifically for professional organizers. And now, let's get started. All right, well, welcome back to the Pro Organizer Studio podcast. This is Jen Obermeyer, and I'm really excited to be welcoming back um, Jennifer Ford Berry. She has been a guest on my Facebook page interviewed before. Um, and you may remember she is a professional organizer. She is an author. She has a podcast called The 29 Minute Mom. She does a little bit of everything. And that's why she's so fun to watch and especially fun to listen to and learn from. So, Jennifer, hi. Hi, girl. How are I'm you? So good. And I'm so glad that you're here. So, why don't you um, introduce yourself to our audience and <laughs> tell them your version of everything that I just said? Oh my gosh, you know, it's just, <laughs> I think sometimes it's funny when people ask me what I do, like if I'm at a cocktail party or something, I just want to like give like a two word answer, but it's not that simple. <laughs> so, right. you know, I have written a series of books called Organize Now. I've been a professional organizer for about 17 years. I ha um, started a podcast about a year and a half ago, like you mentioned, The 29 Minute Mom. And, um, I also own a semi-annual consignment event for families to sell their clutter. <laughs> so, nice. yeah, everything I do seems to, you know, coincide with women and stuff. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. And I, um, your new website redesign, by the way, is absolutely beautiful. I love the tagline that seems to uh, summarize what you just said. It says, "Organize your life to live on purpose." Is yeah. that kind of how you feel, you know, all of those things are coming together for you at this point? Absolutely, John. I think that, and you and I have kind of talked about this before, that about, um, I would say a little over a year ago, I just kind of had a new vision for my business and for my brand and for what I want to use my platform for. And it really coincides with the fact that when I'm teaching people how to get organized and declutter their life, when I'm with them personally, I'm really, you know, kind of marrying that to my faith. Mm -hmm. And I see this, you know, vision of clutter so clearly now after 17 years in this business that people are so overwhelmed by their stuff and they're losing um, so much of what I call is STEM, your space, time, energy, and money. And you're giving it up to the stuff and you're not any happier for it. You just end up feeling more overwhelmed. And so, on the flip side, everybody's like kind of treading water around their stuff, but deep in their soul, they want more. They want to live on purpose. They want to find out what their calling is. They want to kind of get more excited about life. We're, we're kind of so bogged down these days, we can't even get excited because our to-do list is ridiculous. Mm. Um, so I kind of decided that I wanted to use what I've built to help people go, help people go deeper than just the stuff because – um, the clear part to me is that we're leaving empty handed. We're leaving this world empty handed. So why are we working so hard to maintain this stuff when in the end, it's not what's going to make us happy. And so that's why I decided to rebrand the website and kind of take this, you know, into a little bit of a different direction. Mm. And I notice even in your logo, you have Jennifer Ford Berry Ministries now. So mm -hmm. you really consider this your mission. I do. I feel like God placed it on my heart. I feel like I want to answer that call. And um, with the experience I have in you know, my back pocket combined with my faith, I just it took me a long time to say yes because I kept trying to talk myself out of it, much like I did when I became a professional organizer. I think of women do that a lot when you have a, 
something on your heart or a deep down dream, you kind of think to yourself, well, yeah, maybe I can't do that or I don't have the credentials. And so when I became a professional organizer, I kind of kept asking myself, well, how am I going to make this a business? Um, Because 17 years ago, I didn't know many people doing this. And now with the ministry part, it was um, hard to wrap my head around the fact that I, you know, I haven't gone to seminary. I'm not a pastor. But when I really researched what ministry is, it's using your gifts and your calling for the kingdom. And so that's what I feel like I'm doing. I'm using this gift of being able to see stuff clearly and space clearly. And, you know, my, my passion for women to teach them that everybody can live out their purpose. Everybody can wake up every single day and be super, super pumped about their life, which is literally how I feel. So I want more and more people to experience that. Mm, that is incredible. So tell me more about the many legs of your business and everything that you have going on, because it's really, um, it's really a, a sight to see. And I always hear you talking about a potential new idea, which is really um, just amazing. So talk to me more about that. So, you know, I don't know. I feel like, you know, different facets of business just get me so excited. And I'm always asking myself, you know, how can I serve more people? How can I serve these, this niche that I'm looking for where they're overwhelmed with their clutter and they're usually women um, and they usually have a lot on their plate. And so um, it kind of has branched out from there. So we have the, I have, I still do the one-on-one um, coaching and I, I absolutely love that, John. I know you do too. I mean, mm-hmm. it's just the most rewarding job in my opinion in the world. And so I love that. And I do also phone coaching. So for those that I can't be face to face with, I have clients that I do phone coaching with and time um, management and goal setting and all those things to make sure that they get to where they want to be. But recently it's also launched into a couple of different conferences. One is the blurry conference for teens. And that is um, a specific Christian-based conference for helping these teens just kind of get clear about their future. Because, you know, when you're a teenager, your future is completely blurry. You have no idea where you're going to live, who you're going to marry, what you're going to do for a living, where you're going to go to school. You know, there's all these questions. And it's about making sure that these teens that come to our conference really know that there are, first of all, there's a God that cares about those things and their decisions and will be walking with them every step of the way. But there's also a group of us adults that are here to guide and coach them and make sure that they reach their highest potential. So that's really exciting. Um, and actually, that was birthed from my daughter, who is now 17. She's the MC of that conference. And she um, really had a vision for it. And then we created a committee of teens so um, that have the same vision. I just oversee them, really. I, it's not wow. my baby. It's really them. Um, and then we have my baby, which is launching in June this year in Charlotte. It's called the Created Order Conference. And that is about bringing women and teens together for um, this event where you're going to not only be taught how to recognize what is clutter in your life, because sometimes people think clutter is just stuff, but also um, to recognize it, then learn how to eliminate it how to free up that step, that stem that I mentioned, the space, time, energy, and money, and then take that new freed up stem and decide, hey, what is my purpose? What is my calling? And how do I start living that every single day? And what my dream for that conference is, is to bring together women that not only want to learn, but they want to support one another. And that will be the launch of a new community um, called Created Order that is just really about women getting serious about this, about not being so married to things, to having organized lives and organized schedules and waking up feeling less overwhelmed and more productive and more excited, but also having friends in your life that are the same, that want the same thing. So I'm really, really excited about that one. That sounds amazing. Um, in fact, ever since you first told me about it, I know you've been planning it for a long time. I uh, have been jealous because I haven't I knew I wasn't going to be able to go, but it's <laughs> an incredible opportunity that you are bringing together, um, you know, more women who want to learn about organizing as well as um, other professional organizers who really resonate with that message. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and that's the other cool part is that the people that are coming that are professional organizers, I mean, I think as a professional organizer, I am always learning and growing. So I love talking to other people in the business because I just love hearing how other people do things and their outlook. But that's amazing in itself. But then these women that are not into professional organizing that are there, I think the other organizers are going to be extra, you know, leg of support for them and a leg of support in the community. So when you're talking about your, your messaging with the Created Order Conference and you know, helping people see that, you know, decluttering and organizing, it's not just about the stuff. I love what you're saying when you're saying, okay, the next whole step is what do we do with the time and energy that we have now freed up in our life? Like, do you find that having that ultimate goal of re of showing them how to redirect their time and energy to something meaningful to them do you find that that helps them get through that initial stage of having to, you know, identify that clutter and get rid of it in the first place? Absolutely, Jen, because I think that everybody needs to know their why, whether it be a goal you're trying to achieve or why you're trying to lose weight or get healthy or why you're trying to get out of debt or save money, anything. If you are very clear about the why and the benefits of the why, that is what keeps you going when it's a tough day. And um, I had a client just yesterday, a mom of little kids, and she's like, please tell me there's an end in sight of getting my whole house organized. How long will it take? She wanted kind of like a deadline. And she was very, very overwhelmed. Um, and I tried to take a step back and explain to her that, you know, I said, come to this area that makes you happy because there's specific areas of her life that um of her home actually that are already organized and you know corrected so she's like this just makes me so happy and i'm like let's go over why it makes you happy mm -hmm. there's a peace there there's a clarity um there's a system it's maintainable it's efficient all these things and i said so when you think about this being overwhelmed think about your why you want your whole house to feel this way and her real reason is she wants more of that stem. She's sick of cleaning and picking up and rearranging every single day. She told me, I want to spend more time outside with my kids. I want to play more games. I want to, you know, experience this age group. And it's not going to happen if the stuff is controlling us. So I think anytime, no matter what the goal is, knowing what your why is in the bigger picture gets you fired up even more. Like mm -hmm. on those days where it just feels like you want to quit and it's too hard. You're exactly right. And I know you, <laughs> it takes a constant reminder to yourself. Once you have figured out your why, you have to tell yourself uh, over and over again what it is so that you can stay on track with your, with your goals. Yeah. And then even if it means setting an alarm on your phone or posting it mm -hmm. on your computer screen or your bathroom mirror, I think that we're so in inundated with things to remember that we even forget our own why, which is kind of sad, Jen, if you think about it, but it's true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So tell me more about the vision that you have for this created order community that will, you know, continue on after the launch of this conference. I feel like, um, you know, the community is going to be limited to who attends the conference, number one. Um, for a number of reasons. And I think that when, you know, I, I love conferences. Like my favorite thing would be to just go to a conference like every other weekend if I didn't have a family because I'm such a conference nerd. <laughs> um, but one of the things that I love about it is I love that relationship that I, the relationships I form at the conference. There's nothing, there's just, there's nothing better than that when you go into a whole block chunk of time that you've given yourself permission to attend and you are surrounded by some group of people that have the same exact goal and you know in mind they're trying to get to the same place you are in life or they're trying to achieve something or they just have the same belief system and i have done this with other um groups in my field and just different or other businesses i have and it's just so powerful because the rest of the year um, you can reach out to these people when you're struggling or you have a question or you need a resource. And that's what I really want for the community. I don't want people to come into my conference 
and just get fired up. And then we're like, okay, thanks for coming. Have a nice day. We'll see you next year. And they're kind of going home lost because you know, when you get home from a conference that first week, your head is spinning. You're so excited, but it mm -hmm. kind of tapers off. And I don't want that to happen because major life changes will not occur if they don't stick with it. And I think to stick with it, they need accountability. So what kinds of things do you have in mind to create that accountability? I think we're going to have, um, like we're still discussing everything that's going to look like, but I definitely think you need an accountability partner within the group. Mm. Um, like a specific person. I think we'll all help each other, but I think with you, if like say you are my accountability partner, you know, sending me a text in the morning or whatever we decide as partners saying, you know, Hey, how's it going? You know, giving me like a little bit of a boost, but also me having to answer to you what I did you know, the day before or the week before to get me one step closer to my goals. So that means that um, some people will kind of naturally form partnerships and others might be appointed a partner, but I think it's either way for me, I think we can all grow from each other. So I think that part's exciting. And I also think that um, it'll help us when we have, the, you know how it is when people start getting organized or trying to achieve a big goal they have those days where like just tell me something that's going to get me off the couch mm -hmm. <laughs> like, oh yeah just tell me get off the couch shit. um so that'll be that and then i talk a lot about fuel with my clients like i think it's so important if you want to live a different kind of life you want to be intentional that you are feeding your brain and your spirit constantly with the right messages and i want to make sure that the resources are available whether it be a podcast um, that I think could really help the community or a book or a message or just, uh, Hey, let's get on and talk through some issues on Facebook live. Like whatever they they need, I want our group to provide it for them. And then I think by the following year, they'll be able to come and say what they've accomplished and then take it to the next level. Um, mm -hmm. because every year is, you know, a step for me. And I think of life as just kind of like every year you're, you're, you, you know, kind of taking the other step up to where you want to get to. For sure. I have definitely experienced the same thing. So for our listeners who are curious, um, I know that the, the first ever created order conference will be in Charlotte this year, but since it sounds like this is going to be a recurring event, um, is it going to move around the country or do you not know yet? Well, I will be honest, John, and say that is my big, big dream. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely going to stay in Charlotte um, for now until, you know, the, you know, world or our community says, hey, this is worth moving to another yeah. location. Yeah. Um, you know how it goes. But I think the biggest thing is right now, Charlotte is a city I used to live in. It's amazing and it's easy to get to. Um, there's so much to do there. It's a, it's just, it has a great vibe. Um, if you haven't been to Charlotte before, you really should take this opportunity to come. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so I think that it's a great place to start and we are going to really just take advantage of the city for now. And then I'd like to move into other cities. I mean, there's so many on my list, but <laughs> definitely going to launch in Charlotte. Uh, that sounds great. So tell our listeners too uh, a little bit of you know the details about this summer's conference, and then just for them to keep in mind maybe um, how to find out more about the details for next year in case they can't make it this this summer, but really want to make sure that they're involved with this in the future. Yeah, and I mean anyone that's listening, there are definitely tickets still available for this summer, so you have not missed the boat at all. Um, there is a. a the night before is a VIP ticket. So that's going to be a private um, evening reception and a VIP session where it's going to be more intimate. I'm only taking a small group of people for that where you really can um, ask me anything, whether it be how to write a book, how to publish a book, how to get into professional organizing. Oh, wow. how, yeah. How to organize your family, how to, um, you know, schedule your time when you're a business entrepreneur. I mean, literally, I'm, I'm an open book anyways, so I'm excited about that part. That's the VIP session, and that also a VIP ticket includes 
um, specific seating and a whole bunch of stuff. It's on the website, jenniferfordberry.com. Under, um, if you go to ministry on my page, you'll see created order conference. And then day two is exciting because we have um, four sessions. And within those four sessions, we have myself and then four other speakers. And the speakers are all like rock star women. Um, I mean, really, really, like you're going to be so ridiculously inspired. It's not even funny. These women are rock stars. They are living their purpose. They have their, you know, ducks in a row, and they have a heart for other women. So I'm really, really excited. And each of them has their bio on my website as well. Um, so we have that. There's a group rate available. There, and here's another cool thing. You can also become an exhibitor. So there's different levels of exhibitors. Um, so you can actually bring your products. And I really want to shout out to anybody that has some sort of product or service that helps people get their life organized or helps them, you know, kind of live on purpose and have a bigger dream for their life. Those are the specific types of exhibitors we're looking for. Anything that's going to make a woman's life better. Um, and then finally, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but if you have a teen, um, any, you know, even a tween, that you are welcome to bring them because we have a whole separate session just for the teens. And that can be boy or girl, even though the conference is kind of geared more towards women. Um, the teen section, they even have their own keynote. So, and the person that's doing the keynote for them has spoken at my blurry conference and the kids loved her and she's young and she's just setting the world on fire. So, um, there's just, it's going to be amazing. I'm really, really excited. If anyone has, you know, kind of a question, they can always reach out to me and just ask me, you know, different questions about it. But there's so much detail on the website and there is a Facebook event page. There is so much detail on the website. I'm looking right now. So this is incredible. Um, June 28th and 29th this year, summer of 2019. And I know that you will have, um, you know, a waiting list for next year available if, if they're listening and they, you know, kind of missed the boat for this year. Mm -hmm. um, and it sounds like this is just going to continue to grow with what all you guys are doing. I mean, it sounds amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I, I mean, that's my dream and my prayer. So, um, you know, I'm just, I've been praying for the women that need this the most and the women that even if you kind of hear this and you're like, Oh, what she's saying, I feel that way at certain times. I'm telling you, there's so many other women that feel just like you feel. Mm -hmm. I hear that a lot. I don't know if you do, Jen, where I do. people ask a professional organizer a lot, do, you know, am I the worst house you've ever seen? Or exactly. I'm someone to with this. Um, does anyone else? I'm like, we're all the same. Don't <laughs> feel like you're alone because really everybody's struggling with the same stuff. Yeah, no, you're, you're so exactly right. I think nobody kind of quite wants to admit it, but then once you do, then the floodgates open and you have that opportunity to learn from other women around you and bond through, you know, the obstacles that everyone faces, um, you know, as a mom or as a business owner, or even those teens, I'm sure it have, it's wonderful to have that safe space to talk about the things that they're, that they're going through. Yeah, and I think with the teens, it's just important to give teens the skills they need to get organized. I've had a lot of clients tell me, well, nobody ever taught me this. And I'm a true believer that teaching kids how to be organized and how to manage their time and how to eliminate stress is just as important as reading and writing and riding a bike. Oh, you're so right. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. I mean, it's going to be awesome. And the schedule is on the website. Our first session is find your purpose. The second one is declutter your life. After lunch, we go into how to fuel yourself and take care of yourself and all that. And then we go into steps for preparing for success. And finally, a Q&A panel. Um, so it's just going to be a way that you can learn a lot. But then, like I said, not just walk away empty handed, actually having a way to apply it to your life. I love everything about this. I especially want to point out to the professional organizers who are listening in on this. And, you know, if they, if they're able to attend this, I absolutely recommend that. And I have shared that I have shared um, the information about the conference, um, you know, over the past year, but also I just, you know, it strikes me that 
you mentioned at the beginning that it took you a long time to feel confident or ready to integrate your message about faith um, in with your organizing business. And so I know we've touched on this before when we've talked, but I just want to encourage and, and I want to see if you have any words of wisdom for organizers out there who may want to also go this direction. Like how, mm-hmm. um, you know, you're definitely an inspiration and in setting an example for them, but what would you say to them? Well, I would first of all say that, you know, there's no accident that you are a professional organizer and that you felt drawn to this profession. You know, really not everybody is built this way. And it's funny because when I first started, I really thought, who's going to hire me? Doesn't everybody know how to do this? And it sounds funny. <laughs> yeah. But back then, I really thought that, Jen. And I kept meeting all these people, and I realized that God gave me these specific gifts and this specific personality and this specific you know, brain and everything about me as an individual was made specifically for a purpose. And part of that purpose, it has to do with organizing. And I would venture to say that a lot of women listening, that could very well be the case. So don't look at everybody else in this industry and try to be like them. The, you, the best thing you can do is just focus on staying in your own lane and really getting to know yourself so well that you know what the specific, like the, the cool little quirky unique things about you and your gifts are so that you can make that even more bold and more, you know, kind of let that out because that's, what's going to make you different from, you know, Susie, the organizer down the street. Mm -hmm. And in this industry over so many years, I mean, there's, it's getting to be, you know, there's a lot of other people in a lot of other lanes. It wasn't like that when I started. And you can see right now what's happening. And I don't know, I think, Jen, you and I have talked about this, but this is a perfect example. Um, With the the big push with Marie Kondo right now and tidying up on Netflix, you know, it's shining a a cool light on our industry, which is always something that I applaud. Um, But I am not Marie. And one of the main, main differences between us is that she practices Shintoism and I practice Christianity. So that's a huge difference between us. That doesn't make the way she's doing it any better or worse than what the way I'm doing it. But I own the fact that I'm not in that lane. Um, so there's a lot of things that she does with her clients that I don't do and I wouldn't do because I don't believe in them and vice versa. Um, and I think that's really interesting, you know, that one of the most, one of the po- blog posts on my website that gets the most traffic is the comparison between me and Marie. Mm, and interesting. Um, it's just so funny to me because pe- that, and the reason I wrote the article is because a lot of people were asking me what I thought of her ways of doing it. Right. Um, so I just felt like I would answer it publicly. And I think that that's a perfect example. Like there isn't room enough for all of us to have our own lane. And, um, one of the things why Marie, I feel, and I, this isn't, based on research, just my personal opinion, why she's so successful right now is because she's owning her lane. She's owning who she is as a person and as a human and as a woman and how that relates to organizing. And I think that's really, really cool. I could not agree more. It's totally in line with um, the things that I teach um, in my coaching and in my courses, Um, you know, finding your niche and letting that, you know, be the thing that makes you stand out. Um, and so I love every, you know, I love hearing about your journey of coming to embrace that and knowing that you do have an audience out there and people do need to hear from you <laughs> and they're waiting for you to be ready to, yeah. um, to, to say it, you know? Absolutely. And, and remind yourselves, you don't have to be everything for everybody. You're not trying to be the professional organizer for every person in the world. You, you will be more successful if you're clear on your niche and then you go toward that group of people um, because that's the one that's going to resonate with you the most. I love this. Thank you so much. Thank you for just sharing all this insight. I know it's so valuable. Tell us, um, tell people where they can find you more about your books, more about your podcast, your ministry, everything. Just tell the world. (laughs) So the main thing is jenniferfordberry.com. And I always joke, but if you forget it, I'm a big person that, you know, has those little jingles in my mind. So I always tell people it's Jennifer Ford, like the truck, Barry, like the fruit, 
So it's easy to remember.com. You can find out about the conferences. Um, the books are on there. The books are all on Amazon too. One of the things I didn't mention is we are just, um, one is already out, but we're doing a big launch right now for my book series, the, or the Organize Now series. And um, I'm going to go ahead and be really like um, transparent about this because I know a lot of professional organizers are listening. For those of you that haven't heard my full story, I was the same publisher for, you know, probably 11 years. And my last book, they kind of reached a contract and didn't didn't do it exactly the way I wanted it to do it. So I have since um, kind of taken all the rights of my books back, which is, you know, very empowering, but scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so for those people that are going into self-publishing, I mean, just I want you to know that publishing is, you know, don't always think that you're not going to make it because you don't have a publisher. Um, the publishing publisher I had for that many years, we did really, really well together. And then when it was time, I had to own the fact that that wasn't who I was anymore. And that, you know, made, you know, I had to be bold and brave about it, but I'm really happy I did it. So all the books are being revised and revamped and they're coming out with my fresh look on them. Um, organized now, the first volume one is already on Amazon. Volume two is coming out next week. Um, and then volume three will be shortly after that. And finally, I'm also launching a new book um, for the conference called Purpose Over Possessions, which is my first kind of, quote, Christian organizing book. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations yeah, so, on that one. <laughs> yeah. So you're, for, you got, like, you're birthing a new baby every week, it feels like. I don't know. You got so oh many I have so many kids. <laughs> coming out of me. I know. It's so, it's so wonderful to see. Oh my okay, gosh. So Jennifer Ford like the truck, very like the fruit dot com. <laughs> we can find your your uh, blog, like you mentioned, the all of the conference information, links to your podcast, um, of course, information about services. I mean, this it's incredible. I love everything that you have going on. Yeah. It's um I want you guys to know too, if you're listening and you're starting out or you're just like, hey, what the heck am I doing? Don't be afraid to reach out to me because I wouldn't be here where I am today if, you know, I didn't do that and people didn't say yes to my questions and um, allow me to pick their brain. So I'm totally available. So make sure that if you're, you know, wanting to reach out, you don't hesitate. It's amazing. Thank you so, so much, Jennifer. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's always fun talking to you, Jen. It's wonderful talking to you too. Okay, so yeah. just one more recap for anyone listening. The Created Order Conference is coming up in just a few months. It's June 28th and 29th, 2019 in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it is open to professional organizers to come and enjoy that weekend away, get a little bit of that conference high going, um, and get to meet other organizers who are in that you know, like-minded um, you know, Christian focus in their business. And it's also for women uh, who can come from all over, and I hope that they do, who want to take this time to think about how to eliminate their clutter, get organized, and live their God-given purpose. And I'm so grateful, Jennifer, that you, um, that you are ready to, to do this for people because I think it's definitely very needed. Well, thank you for the encouragement. I really, really appreciate that. And you keep doing you, Jen, because I'm super excited you have this podcast now. It's awesome. Thanks, girl. Me too. All right. Thank you, everyone. And we'll talk to you again next time. Thank you for listening to the Pro Organizer Studio Podcast. If you'd like to learn more about time-saving services and resources for professional organizers, visit www.proorganizerstudio.com. And if you'd like to get Jen's roadmap to success for launching and growing your professional organizing business, go straight to www.poroadmap.com.